All right. Now this one's even shorter than the other one. Item SCP. Oh yeah, this is the portrait. S item SCP-099. Object class safe. Again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, Sorry. you're fine. Again, it is safe. Safe. <laughs> Special containment procedures. SCP-099 is kept in a 1 meter by 75 centimeter well-mounted fireproof case in Gallery 27. Standard climate and humidity controls apply to the section of the gallery. Due to its properties, SP-099 can only be viewed within the gallery by level 2 staff or higher. And only from a distance greater than 5 meters. And for a period of not to exceed 5 minutes per day. While not being viewed, the case is to remain shut and electronically locked. Right? Yeah? This quarter has been cutting you off on and off. So goddamn annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, where did it start cutting me off? Do you know? I, I don't know why Discord does it. No, I was asking when did it? Uh, well, you were reading the special containment procedures for SCP-099. But I've, I've read it anyway. Oh, okay. So. Anyways, description. SCP-099 is a, is a 73 by 50 centimeter painting titled The Portrait, created in 1935 by surrealist painter René Magritte. The original painting possesses mimetic properties that trigger acute paranoia and lingering psychological effects. When viewed for too long or from a distance of approximately three meters or less, the painting depicts a simple still life with the addition of a single eye staring back at the viewer. A reproduction of the work currently hangs in the Museum of Modern Art in New York, with critical elements removed to prevent the paranoia trigger. For a detailed description of the changes, refer to documents 099B, detailed re reproductions and photographs of the original work retain its mimetic properties. Th those who have feel the pain for too long or are from too close of a distance become, become subject to the delusion that any being or depiction of a being with eyes is staring at them. In extreme cases, subjects report that inanimate objects are making eye contact. The condition is so severe that subjects will even report making eye contact with individuals whose heads are completely turned away. Depending on the length of the original exposure to the painting, subjects may suffer from this condition until death, resulting in severe paranoia and enoclophobia. I need to look that up. Yeah, while you look that up, I'm going to read the addendum. Alright, addendum. SCP-099 was recovered from the private collection of K. Sage, another surrealist painter. Recovery was performed by MTF Theta 6, Pink Panther. Miss Sage. Aquaphobia uh, is apparently a fear of crowds. Oh. I thought it would be like, wait, now I feel stupid. Because my head was thinking like something lake related because the lack of not. <laughs> Less monster. That's fair. Yeah. I, I don't know why my mind went that way. I felt so I feel so stupid. <laughs> you know what? It's a valid place for your brain to go. Uh oh, cheery. Yeah. Miss Sage. Oh. Remember that. A woman. Well, Was... yeah, we have two women here so far. Yeah. The person who painted it. Yeah. Was... I think it, the person who painted it was a woman. Let me reread. Renee Marquette. Yeah. Yeah. Was unaware of the recovery and replacement of SB099, although pre recovery investigation suggests she was aware of its properties and was either immune or careful not to look too closely. 
Marguerite was still alive at the time SB-099 was stored in Gallery 27. Oh, he remained, so Marguerite's a guy. Yeah. yeah, it says Marguerite was still alive at the time as SV099 was stored in Gallery 27. Next sentence, he remained. <laughs> Marguerite is a guy. <laughs> there you go. There you go, dude. <laughs> you know what? Friends can be as weird as they want. Yeah. Why not? Why not have a painter who's a man named Marguerite? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's fair. He remained under foundation surveillance until his death in 1967. Research suggests that the painting's mimetic trigger was initially created, although the effect and power of the trigger was unlikely unintentional. The foundation has studied the rest of Marguerite's work and found no anomalous mimetic properties to this date. Weaponized for publication, data expunged. They're going to see this and make it a weapon. We know they're gonna do it. All right. Don't say that. Right. We can hope they don't. <laughs> Maybe we could have, I don't know, crackers. Okay. I can't have faith in them, but I don't know, crackers. I have faith in crackers. Yeah. Anyways, I posted the thumbnail. Uh, look, maybe it's not as bad as I'm imagining it. <laughs> oh! It doesn't even show the painting! But now it's not even in here. Not here. Who is that supposed to be? How to find out? I think they're using someone who's in a mental asylum. So they're able with. <laughs> let's just oh. give it a four. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a four also. Let me just look. 1935. So this is when asylums were literally murdering people for being disabled. Yep. Uh, Are we ready? Uh, yeah, sure. If you can handle the mustache one, you can handle <laughs> We already have a big problem at the very beginning. I mean, you know my family's history, so... Yeah, I I'm talking about the video. We have a very big problem at the beginning. Yeah. That SCP does not belong there. As well as you're not supposed to use this original depiction. <laughs> also, they wouldn't have someone standing near it. Also, the sciences do not look. That's the exact opposite. Yeah, that SCP, the statue, specifically wants to be looked at at all times. Make it <laughs> angry if you don't look at it. Right. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with the video. Janet looked intently at the painting. It was oddly calming to her. It was a simple still life. A plate, fork and knife, glass, and a bottle on a table. Nothing out of the ordinary, except for the eye. In the middle of the plate, there was an eye. It felt like it was staring through her through her very soul. She became mesmerized by it. She couldn't pull her gaze away. What was that? Her skin began to crawl. Was someone looking at her? She could feel cold, dead eyes on her back. As she looked behind her, the security guard behind her made eye contact and smiled. She turned back. That's a little creepy, she thought. She gazed back at the painting. Again. He was staring at her again. She looked back at him again. There staring again she called out you got a problem the guard turned to look at her with a confused look upon his face 
Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. With that, she got up to leave. She didn't know it yet, but she had just witnessed SCP-099, and her sanity would be leaving her soon. She left the museum. It was cold, and it looked like it might rain. Perhaps it would be prudent to take a taxi, rather than risk being caught out in the rain. She hailed a cab and got in. She gave the driver her address and sat back in her seat. As she read through her phone, oh my she God. felt it again. Eyes on her. She glanced up into the rearview mirror. There. Again. He was staring at her. What was it with all these perverts today? Rather than draw attention and put herself in a dangerous situation, she looked back down at her phone and ignored it. She got back to her apartment, thankfully unharmed. As she opened the door to her apartment, she could have sworn she caught a glimpse of someone in the mirror. Not possible. Her hallway was only one meter wide, and there was a wall right there. But something about the image looked familiar. What was it? She felt she recognized it. It was all in her head. Had to be. That eerie feeling of being watched wouldn't leave her the rest of the night. She had herself a nice cup of chamomile and settled in for the evening. A good night's sleep, and she'd feel better in the morning. That night, her dreams were unsettling. She wasn't one for vivid dreams, but tonight was different. It was as if she was living out someone else's life, in their body, but unable to alter or control it, replaying what had that happened like... before to- The hell did they make this more aggressive? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> it only messes- it only makes peep- it, you think people are looking at you. Uh -huh. As well as inanimate objects. Not mirrors, not when you're sleeping. Also, the painting was easy to look up and find online. The original the SCP is based off of. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of it? Hold on. Hmm, looks nice. Might as well show it in the chat unless I need to find a big <laughs> And I'm about to show it on screen. Three, two, one, boom! Yep, that's the painting. The real painting. I mean, they, they, they weren't far off in the video. So they did some research. Yeah. It's like they did basic research. And then they made things up. Yeah. Ready to continue? Yeah. Oh, I found a better, bigger copy of the art. Of course, after all that struggling, when I'm not struggling at all, I find a better version. Of course <laughs> I do. But I'm not even looking for it. Anyways, let's... Always happens, doesn't it? Yeah, let's... Anyway, let's continue them she looked at herself in the mirror but she was now a man she w what <laughs> what it, it does not change your gender <laughs> you can turn into a gender switcher she wore a suit with a bowler hat and adjusted her tie a woman came down the hallway smiled at him what? gave him a kiss on the cheek and continued past him down the hallway she felt a sudden wave of anger seemingly out of nowhere what was it with her every time she just couldn't leave him alone oh she acted like she was going off to clean the living room or fetch the groceries he knew better she was plotting and scheming what? against him what he didn't yet know what her end game was but he what? knew what uh, so I know that this part right here with the branch and the clock and thing right here. I know it's part of an it's art. A yeah, it's I. A yeah, I forgot the painter though. Vanga. Oh, Vanga. Vanga. 
Thanks. I couldn't. It was on the tip of my tongue. I couldn't remember it. But yeah, that's a different painter and a different style too. That I, now that I think about it. <laughs> yes, he also was murdered and had a very not the best death. Yeah. Then he also cut his ear off, or is that different? Someone else. It, it's same person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's continue. She was up to I'm something. I'm looking up the Melton Clark painting to confirm it's by Van Gogh. Gotcha. Well, I do am positive it was Van Gogh. I would rather confirm or deny it. That's fair. This this anomaly got turned into a murder mystery. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. It turned into that an anomaly that's the, the oh, set. Oh, I was wrong. It's The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. Ah. Not Van Gogh. Ah, okay. Also, Jerry, this is reminding me, it's turning to look more like that anomaly of a 13 sets of mirrors that shows a person's death over and over. I forgot the anomaly's name and number, but that's an anomaly. It's making me think of this one. The D did they combine anomalies? Would you like us to read that one? Nah, probably not. Because I, because... You know what, if they did that, then it doesn't matter to us. Right. Because they're not presenting it that way. They're presenting it as SCP-099. Yeah. Not SCP-099 plus plus. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue. Always spying on him from around the corner or behind his back. She called him paranoid. Well, that didn't mean it wasn't true. He walked down the street, casually greeting people as he did every day. As per his usual routine, he stopped by the fresh grocer to choose an apple. As he looked down upon the selection and gently squeezed and inspected the produce, he caught a reflection in the apple in his hand. Thomas, the grocer, he was smirking at him. He raised his head and looked him in the eye. Thomas smiled. What's your problem? Thomas looked back in shock. What? Nothing. I, I, I didn't. Don't even try. You did it yesterday and you did it again today. What is it? You have something to say to me? No, no, monsieur. He tossed the man a coin and left, seemingly in a huff. What was he smirking at? Wait, yesterday he had seen Thomas with his wife. Did he perhaps mean his smirk for her? What did it mean? Was it an affair? Was that the secret and glances from his wife? Was she having an affair behind his back? Oh, he'd what? find out. He reached his studio in a bit of a state, but it didn't matter. There it was, the masterpiece he had been working on for months now. Everything would be fine once he could sit down and continue. This was his piece de resistance. This was the one they would remember him for in the decades and centuries after his death. Nicholas's assistant came to take his coat. He seemed reserved. Probably from the recent, violent verbal abuse his boss had taken to giving him. He hadn't always been like this, but since he had starred in his masterpiece, his attitude had changed. He had become darker, meaner, obsessed, and paranoid. Monsieur René, how are you this morning? He hesitantly asked. I've told you before, it's Mr. Marguerite, you fool. Nicholas lowered his- Well, they get Mr. Marguerite. He had, in fact, Never asked to be called Mr. But he wasn't in a mirror. Mr. Mar Renee painted through Mr. the day. Mr. Mar Marguerite was a historical figure. Yeah. It's a character they can't change. Yeah, and plus he wasn't in a fucking mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the only thing that seemed to ease his tension these days. They were all plotting against him. It wasn't just his wife's affair. I'm gonna Nicholas just look the person up very quick to see if Mr. Margaret was... Married. Paranoid or mean. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I, I let the video. I let the video keep playing though. This <laughs> enforces obscene shit. <laughs> this was involved somehow too. He could feel it in his bones. There was a grand conspiracy against him. Did they plan to take his money and leave him a pauper? Nicholas brought in his afternoon tea. What do you think, Nicholas? Isn't he looking very smart? Nicholas looked at the painting, seemingly confused. What man? There was no man in the picture. 
Rather than risk an outburst, he simply answered, Yes, Mr. Marguerite. Call me René. How many times do I... Never mind. Away with you. The painting was coming along well, but there was... Wait. This is not Mar René Margaret's personality. Right, and plus it's making it look like the anomaly is affecting him. When it was stated in the article, the anomaly does not affect him. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh, heckin'. Sorry, my mouth is not cooperating. You're fine. Anyways. If you don't cooperate, I just copy and paste using the Despite his subversive side, Marguerite had a particularly childlike spirit. In fact, he often enjo enjoyed gathering writer and philosopher friends around his paintings, encouraging each one to contribute to the search for a title. Marguerite is an enigmatic individual, difficult to pin down, who preserved his inner world throughout his life. So he was a nice person who <laughs> liked hanging around people. Right. So they've literally taken a historical figure and totally changed their personality because, I don't know, the SEC. Yeah, they're probably making it look like the SP is affecting them, even though in the article said it could not affect them. Well, he was unknown so why. It makes sense for it to affect him because he had a childlike personality, apparently. Yeah. All right, let's go on. See how Still bad it gets. Would he still be able to finish it in time? He felt like time was running short. The conspiracy surrounding him were picking up momentum. It wasn't an affair, or not just an affair. He was sure of it now. They planned to kill him. It didn't matter, as long as he could finish the painting. He continued his work. Days blurred into weeks, weeks into months. His appearance became more disheveled. Nothing what? mattered outside his work. His work became frantic and he worked at a ceaseless pace. They were closing in on him. It wasn't just his assistant, his wife and the grocer. No, the conspiracy was much larger than he had even imagined. They were jealous of him, jealous of his talent. It was the whole city. He didn't know how she had done it, but she convinced them all that he needed to disappear. Fine, but not yet. A few more days, it was all that he needed. He worked on, refusing to leave the studio now. He constantly felt Nicholas's eyes on him. His wife had come. She had told him he needed rest. Just a few hours sleep, and he could return. Did they believe him so stupid? It would take them mere minutes to commit their ghastly crime. He wouldn't give them the satisfaction. He wouldn't let them ruin his art. She threatened to call the his friends. Of a real life person. Yep. That's a photo of Rene Marguerite. Marguerite. So wait. They race swapped him. Wow. <laughs> also, funny that they take someone they're making paranoid and aggressive and give him dark skin. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah well, we're almost over. Come and stop him. When that didn't work. She threatened to call the police, or the oh hospital. Oh my god! The hospital! When he confronted her about her plans for him, she had stared back in horror. Sure, it was all his imagination. He had thrown her out and locked the door. Now, they were outside, the lot of them trying to stop him, trying to ruin his final piece of art. They pounded on the door, threatened him. Time was running short. Here's the thing, that's a glass door. That can easily be broken during that time period. Because I'm pretty sure bulletproof glass wasn't invented yet. It was not invented yet. Also, I want to comment that... <laughs> I don't think that was his final painting through, throughout his life. Yeah. He way past that age. Mm-hmm. What is this? You need to be careful on when it comes to SCPs or things concerning real people. Yeah, the articles do people justice, not the videos. They're very careful with that. Yeah. 
In the article, it never says that Rainer Grief is bad or paranoid or mean or anything. Yeah. And when you look the person up, they aren't. Yeah. Oh, boy. But he only needed a few more minutes. A couple more brush strokes and it would be done. Oh, no, a police he officer. He applied his brush to the canvas. Almost there. Almost done. How much Just more a few more will they add to the race up swap Rene? Who knows? Drops. Also, look at all the white people he's terrifying. <laughs> That's true. Door burst open. With one final flourish, it was done. He had completed it. His masterpiece. It was as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. He smiled, got up and hugged his wife. He patted Nicholas on the shoulder, thanked the police for their concern, and went off home. To sleep, for what seemed like the first time in an eternity. He said, It's finished. Isn't it magnificent? The apple completes it. Don't you think? The assembled room looked back in shock and surprise. The next morning, Renee's wife asked how he was and if he felt They added What's weird the... white lines onto it. Yeah, also, the previous painting they showed was also a work of his. Wh why did they change one work of his to a different work of his? Who knows, Jerry? Who knows? <sighs> Better. He looked at her in surprise. What did she mean? His outbursts? His insanity over the last few months, of course. Didn't he remember? He smiled back and said, My dear, I have no idea what you're talking about. But you must excuse me. I've just had a brilliant idea for a new painting. I will call oh, it no. The Son of Man. With that, he grabbed the green apple from his bedside and headed off. Janet woke with a start. Was that a dream? What did it what? mean? She had to figure it out. But she had recognized that painting of the man with the bowler hand. She headed back to the museum. Wait, there, wait, where did you get the fucking apple? Right, but hold on, let me get go back a minute. That's Pisterbot, and that's not his exact size. He's way smaller. You know that annoying little robot that says they're gonna take over the world, but can't yeah. obviously. Yeah, that's him. It's and look, tiny. look, they made it zero one seven three a fucking ninja. Probably the high cop. The copyright. Okay, let's let's keep going. She headed back to the museum. <laughs> there it was, the Son of Man by Rene Marguerite. But that wasn't the right painting. It was the same painting she had seen yesterday. She asked the guard why this painting of an eyeball was there. He looked at her with confusion. Ma'am, what eyeball? That is the Son of Man, the green apple, the boulder hat. What was he talking about? Was it some sort of trick? He was in on it. He was in on it with the security guard from yesterday. She didn't know what it was all about, but they were up to something. It was a conspiracy. It was a grand conspiracy and they were out to get her. She could feel their eyes on her. That's not how it works. Yeah. SCP-099 is a 73 by 50 centimeter painting titled The Portrait. Created in 1935 by surrealist painter René Magritte, the original painting possesses mimetic properties that trigger acute paranoia and lingering psychological effects when viewed for too long or from a distance of approximately 3 meters or less. The painting depicts a simple still life with the addition of a single eye staring back at the viewer. A reproduction of the work currently hangs in the Museum of Modern Art in New York, with critical elements removed to prevent the paranoia trigger. For a detailed description of the changes, refer to. Hmm. You say something, Jerry? Sorry, I was just uh slightly thinking. I thought it was in a different museum. What museum did? Uh... Oh, you're right. It, yeah, it was. It was telling the truth. It was in New York. And I thought it would be in. No, no, it's New York. Oh. To document 099B. You're fine. Detailed reproductions and photographs of the original work retain its mimetic properties. 
Those who have viewed the painting for too long or from too close of a distance become subject to the delusion that any being or depiction of a being with eyes is staring at them. In extreme cases, subjects report that inanimate objects are making eye contact. Oh my god. The condition is so severe that subjects will even report making eye contact with individuals whose heads are completely turned away. Depending on the length of the original exposure to the painting, subjects may suffer from this condition until death, resulting in severe paranoia and enoclophobia. The next time you visit an art gallery, have a caution and don't look too closely. You never know what might be looking back. They barely talked about the actual fucking anomaly. <laughs> I think I already know what you're going to rate this. <laughs> well, they did remove a person. Yes, they, and, and she was female. So I guess we get that. We, huh? I think... There was only one woman in the SCP, which to be fair, there's only, what, two people mentioned in the entire thing? Or, yeah, two or, yeah, two people mentioned in the entire thing. And mm -hmm. it does not mention either of those people. Yeah, so put that for three. Also, it does mention the painter, but not Miss K. Sage. That's... So do we put two or three for removal of characters? Well, I feel like they only didn't remove Mar because Marguerite. They didn't remove Rene because they couldn't. But they did change his personality completely. So I feel like that needs a three. Alright. Added gore or violence? Three? It was more aggressive, but I right. think it wasn't Super violent. Could that be a two? Yeah, it wasn't that violent compared to the others. Yeah, they added violence, but not that much. But it was weird. Deviates from the plot of Article 4. 4. <laughs> Only men in the video. 4. They added women, but they were not the women. Yeah. It'll have a higher score than the previous one. Yay! It's a whopping 15%. Yay! <laughs> Look, it's a pattern. 5%, 15%. 5%, 15%. <laughs> Can we go higher? Please! <laughs> 